it's hard to go somewhere. But um, uh, so a lot of people, I mean, we have a video that we're going to show, but I think beyond the, the, the video that we're going to show, I think it would come. I think it would come. Hello. I think it would come. I think you would feel a little better if I told you from my heart. So as I was, when I was growing up and, you know, trying to do things and, and trying to develop my career and taking a lot of risks to become whoever it was that I was going to be, I had so many people, like, come in my corner and come my way and do something that, like, always shocked me that I was like, oh my God, like, this is going to help propel me to the next level of whatever it is I'm going to be. Um, if anywhere from a friend sending me money when I moved to LA to my brother, he's right there, one day just sent me a picture of my sister and in inside the the, um, the frame wrote a letter, it was like, you know, I know you're gonna be successful, like just keep plugging at it. It was amazing. So, and then, you know, just like constantly people like, you know what, I know you're gonna make something out of yourself because I see your talent and I see your heart and I know who you are. So, one day, <laughs> Now, so first of all, before I continue the story, I just want to let you all know that I keep it very real, so just be prepared. It's, it's, it's G-rated, sir. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> you don't have to. So when Scott and I moved to Arizona, I was like, you know, I need someone to cut my hair. And so I would go to this barber, you know, and I always like, I was like, it needs to be a black guy. Like, they understand how I get my hair cut, right? So I went to this barber, and it just wasn't doing the trick. So I called Alex, my assistant right here, and who throws all of our events. And I was like, you know, Alex, I was like, can you call around somewhere in the, in the, in the Phoenix, Scottsdale area? I was like, I need someone who can really cut my hair. Like, I just need this to happen. And so she called me back. She's like, I found the guy. He's at the artist shaving. And I'm like, no. No. I'm like, it's the artist shaving. They only shave white people hair. Like, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, send this white. And she's like, no, Sean. Like, trust me. Like, go there. So I go. So I shave reluctantly. I'm like, okay, if, if all else fails, I can shave my head bald and whatever. So I walk in and it's Eric. So I immediately was like, no. I immediately was like, oh my God, like, this seems really cool. Like, I really like this guy. So we sit down, I get my hair cut. I probably think I, I texted Alex, like, yes, like, we found somebody. And then I went back the next day and was like, um, or not the next day, well, yeah. probably less than a week later because I just love it keeping it fresh and so clean. But, um, so I went back again, and I was like, um, we started talking, and he was like, you know, what do you do? And I was like, you know, I'm an insanity guy. And he's like, really? Like, so we had that moment. It wasn't really a fangirl moment, but we had that moment. <laughs> but then beyond that, I mean, it was just it. And we would talk and hang out. But it was more than that. It was like how professional he was, how he was like, when he was cutting my hair, it was like art. Like, he was cutting my hair like, when I do my workout DVDs. I'm like, he's in this. Like, he's in it more than, he's not talking to anybody else. Like, a lot of barbershops you go to, they're talking to people while they're cutting your hair. Like, you know, they're trying to cut up and, you know, talk trash to the other barbers. And he's like, in it. Like, there's nothing else going on but what's going on with your hair. But he is, you know, engaging in conversation. He tell, he's telling you what he's doing, why this oil is the best thing for you. This is why you should cut your hair this way. You know, and everyone here, you know, w women and men, when you get your hair cut, like, you like it cut a certain way, like, I have all, my hair goes all different ways, my hairline in the front is a little weird, I got a, a little thing right here, like, it's all these things, and he's, like, constantly paying attention to all these things. So, you know, then I got Darren, I was like, oh my God, Darren, you need to go, I said, Scott, I'm like, oh my God, you guys, this is you, I get to cut your hair. So we keep going to artist shaving. And then, so, for my Insanity Max 30 shoot, I was like, I said, I was like, I don't want to like deal with anybody else cutting my hair. So we invited Eric to New York City, took him away from his lovely girlfriend for her birthday, which was horrible for a month, but you know, you're here now. So. Um, and he came out and then on the days that he wasn't working with us, he just kind of gallivanted around the city. And I remember talking to him, he's like, yo man, I went to some of these barbershops. And he was like really excited and I think inspired at what he saw. Because if you had never gone to New York City before. No, man, it's my first time. And so, you know, so then I stayed in New York City, Eric came back, we finished the shoot, all this stuff. and I hadn't talked to him in a few months because I wasn't here, and then all of a sudden I find out he, like, saved up all his money and got this shop. And so we came here, and Darren and Scott and I, I mean, and like, and, and he would come to our house, like, late at night to cut all of our hair and scream, including Scott's parents, or whoever came to the house for the first time, like, Eric was like, you know, 
Like they need to have their life changed by cutting my, by me cutting their hair. We're like, oh my god, you have to cut the hair. So <laughs> the way the, the way this men's health thing comes into play is on the day of my men's health shoot, last minute, Eric comes, shaves me down, makes sure mm-hmm. it's exactly the way that these people wanted it. Um, and oh, and the men's health editor, the guy who wrote the writer who wrote my article. Like he came into our house with this like crazy looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's like one of those white guys that had like this crazy hair, like that didn't fall, it was just stuck out. <laughs> and so Eric came and he was like, we were like, yo, you have to do this, like, because Eric change, changes people's lives when he cuts hair. When he cuts hair. So just from all of that, and I and we would come to the shop and it would just be like. You know, you know, I would see people pulling up here in Bentleys and like <laughs> crazy, and like I was like I would have come to the shop all the time. And I'm like, like his shop needs to match his energy and the skill that he possesses when he goes into cutting your hair. So, Darren and I had this amazing idea. It's like you know we have to do this. Like we have so the design is all done by Darren. Um, the ideas, you know, he always asks me with the ideas, but he's really the mastermind behind. Extra. <laughs> <laughs> I did a little extra, but um, and so Scott and of course we we just wanted to make sure. Like I just remember when people paid it forward for me, and I'm like, like this place needs to be as amazing as he is as a person and, and as a barber. So with that, I'll have somewhere to say after that. With that, we'll give you this. Yes.